breaking right now at 11. A little boy thrown from a burning apartment building. We just got an update on his condition. Seven on your side asking questions about road sign confusion. What's being done about these signs that point to a hospital and emergency room that no longer exist? Showers coming to an end, the cold and the wind settling in. And seven on your side confronting a health crisis facing new moms in the district. When we're talking about maternal health, it's literally an issue of life or death. The new effort to make sure more mothers live to see their children grow up. Breaking now, two little boys seriously injured while escaping a fire on Martin Luther King Avenue in D.C. The youngest was tossed from a third floor unit just above the burning apartment. Now, firefighters tell ABC7 the grandmother of the two boys tried to get them to neighbors on the sidewalk. We talked to a man who lives below the burning apartment. He tells ABC7 it was a split second decision and that grandmother had no other choice. The children had to come out through the window. It was too much smoke. We couldn't see anything. It was a panic situation. Right now, it is too early to determine a cause. 16 people have been displaced. And also breaking right now, a man hit by a car along Old Courthouse and Gallows Road in Tysons. Police on the scene for hours trying to piece together just what happened. Now, the man was seriously injured, is in the hospital tonight. We get an update, we'll let you know. And also new at 11 o'clock, D.C. is taking action to make sure that more mothers' lives to see their children actually grow up, more mothers live to see their children grow up. D.C. already has one of the highest death rates for new and expecting moms, a danger that's even worse for black women here and across the nation. Seven on your sides, Annalisa Gale with one mother who survived a serious scare. But I just want everybody to have the appropriate support. Latani Cooper is a mother of four living in Southeast. She knows that getting the proper care before, during, and after giving birth is very important. I had a good girlfriend of mine that passed away two days after she had her baby. She says her friend died two days after having a baby boy. Slipped in the shower, hit her head, and died. She believes it could have been prevented if she had more resources available, especially east of the river. In 2016, a study found that D.C. had the highest maternal mortality ratio, and between 2014 and 2016, nearly 75 percent of those maternal deaths were African-American women. And the CDC says black women are over three times more likely to die from pregnancy-related causes than white women. When we're talking about maternal health, it's literally Really an issue of life or death. Commissioner Salim Adolfo is pushing for a bill that could change the way that pregnant women are treated, especially in Ward 8. Because this area has, one, the highest unemployment rate of any other ward in the city, which then means that many of the, of the residents that live here aren't getting the financial assistance that they need. The bill, which is backed by 11 members of the city council, would require insurance plans to cover at least two postpartum health care visits, home visits, and more. Stipends to and from of the doctor. It would also cover uh, fertility preservation. Something can be done. And a public hearing on this issue is scheduled for December 18th. In Southeast Washington, Annalisa Gale, ABC 7 News. And as Annalisa mentioned, the CDC issued that dire warning earlier this year in Virginia that trend held true. The maternal mortality rate for black women is more than double that of white women. This summer, Governor Ralph Northam announced a goal to erase that gap by 2025. The gap is nearly the same in Maryland. The state passed two bills this year to gather more information why this disparity exists. Both states and the district are all using the Federal Maternal Mortality Review Act in those efforts. And you might recall last year, Serena Williams revealed her post-pregnancy complications almost immediately after an emergency C-section in 2017. Dangerous blood clots were identified, something Williams has dealt with in the past, but Williams said in a Vogue cover story that the concerns were not immediately taken seriously. Advocates used William's case to highlight the potential for racial bias faced by black mothers. Well, ABC7 remains on storm watch because from coast to coast, the nation now is feeling the effects of major winter storms. And